to Lizzie Armistead. Let's just talk Lizzie Armistead just a little bit on the eve of the Olympic Games. What do we know about Lizzie Armistead? Number one, Lizzie Armistead is a British cyclist. Number two, Lizzie Armistead is the reigning women's cycling world champion. What else do we know about Lizzie Armistead in the Olympic Games? Well, Lizzie Armistead is the favourite to take the gold medal in the women's road race at the Olympic Games. So obviously, it would be devastating to the uh, Olympic Games in Rio should Lizzie Armistead be pinged on a doping violation just one month before the Olympics and their star athlete isn't able to perform. Well, guess what? That's effectively what happened. In the world of pro cycling, or for that matter, all pro sport that's um, part of the WADA anti-doping program, is athletes have a thing called a whereabouts test, where athletes need to disclose their whereabouts for one hour each week. And if the uh, doping testers want to do a doping test and want to be sure that they find you at a specific point, then they can go to the point that you have disclosed that you'll be at during the course of that one hour for the week, and they can come and do a random dope test. If you're not at the point place that you disclosed, then that's called that, that, that puts a strike against your name. Three strikes within a year, and you're out. That's what happened to Tim Dunn a couple of years ago. He got three strikes on a whereabouts test, and it resulted in a one-year suspension. Lizzie Armistead, on the other hand, gets her third strike during the course of the month of June. On the 11th of July, her uh, three strikes in your art suspension is announced. But guess what? Within a couple of weeks, with the assistance of the British Cycling Federation and no doubt the IOC as well, her case was expedited through the Court of Arbitration for Support in Switzerland, and her first strike, which occurred in August last year, has been expunged because the, um, she was not able to use the app to be able to change her, her whereabouts within time. Because that's another thing. If, say for instance, you are training over a mechanic or something, and you're not going to be back home, and you said that home was where you're going to be, say, be between 11 a.m. and midday, and the art training, you get a mechanical and you realize, wait, I'm not going to be home in time. You can use a mo an app on your mobile phone to change your location because what happens is the, the doping testers check your location 20 minutes before their intended test time. So that means that if you're stuck next to the road with a mechanical, you can ping in your changed location because you won't be home in time, saying that you're on this road between this point and that point, and um, working on a mechanical to get your bike working again, or something of the like. So, Lizzie Armstead had all the opportunities at her disposal to be able to disclose her whereabouts for a total of 52 hours of the year. She missed three, and the standard procedure is miss three and you get a suspension. Not Lizzie Armistead. You miss three, you get the first one expunged, and you still get to compete at the Olympic Games. Do you think that's fair? Do you th think that's fair to all the other athletes? I know on the, from my personal perspective, if I had one strike in my name against my name for missing a doping test because I messed up on the whereabouts test, I'd be absolutely obsessive compulsively making sure that my whereabouts were meticulously logged. If I'd missed two and I'd realized that I've got four months to go before the first one got expunged from last year, I'd be doubly paranoid about making sure that my whereabouts for the designated hour were updated just about daily, just about probably three, four times a day, I checked to make sure that I had that all in line. But it seems that, that if you're the world champion and the hot favorite for the gold medal, 
the rules work slightly differently for you. That's my take on the matter. What do you think? Share your comments on the situation down below. I know the rest of the uh, pro cyclists out there have expressed their outrage on the situation, but um, that's the, ex the opinion of, this, of, the, of the pro cyclists. However, what do you think? Do you think that the Lizzie Armistead three strikes in the art uh, suspension should have been overturned just like that? Post your comments, questions down below. Let me know what you think. And remember to like, share, subscribe. And last but by no means least, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Whoa. Oh. Coach Ever.